Sunday morning, the TT beckons. First job though, shoot out and tend some grass. Rich did a bit yesterday, so that's why it's already on 7-7. Seven, seven. Gonna go with this now. And then, um... hmm, that doesn't look right. This, uh, this is broken. Looks like it's been like that for a while though, because it's rusty. I think it sits in there when it's fully open. Oh well, still should work, but maybe it needs a pin putting back in there. Anyway, let's go and ted some hay. Ted it, scale it, shake it out. So many different names. I think it depends on your location in the UK is what name it gets. Um, what's it called where you live? I'll just put a bit of fuel in for me. Listen. Sounds better than Joe's 6 9 that he was spraying on yesterday if you watched it. Right now, which spills it on? That one. No. That one. No. There you go. So pull that one back. Then I have to pull. I think it's the red string that moves that over and then we can hopefully fold it out so the red string makes that block move see so i'm pulling a little bit with two hands and then hopefully that now will start to fold out and it'll go 7.7 meters wide, I think. There we go. Then, lower it down with that. To the height we need. Probably about that don't want it digging in the ground too much so that's where i need it so what i'll do is that little lump is like a depth control that you move with that this is an old style john deere dead simple so then now that'll be up that'll be down and it should drop to the same height now if i want to go lower i just roll that thing pto got 540 540 in a thousand um Oh, it's 540, I'll leave it in that for now, but if you were doing a lot, you'd, you'd put it in 540E. Probably want to be in about B or C. Um, let's turn the PTO on with that switch. There go. Maybe a little bit too low, I'll just ease it up ever so slightly. Right, I think we're set at that. Shut the back window so we don't get loads of dust in. steering wheel back down so I can reach. Now I want to rev it up to um why is it not showing me the rear PTO? Hmm. Don't know what's happened there. Maybe Mr. Rodent's chewed something. Anyway, rev it up to what looks about right. Put that in gear forwards and off we go. Had a load of windows you can see that. So that's just grabbing the rows off the floor and then shaking them out so that they get the maximum amount of sun. So the top's already dried a little bit but now see how it's picking it up. It looks a lot darker green now it's flicked it over. So that needs to wilt and dry out now with the sun. So we're going up here now. Look how dusty that bonnet is. <laughs> uh, it's catching that row, that row, and that row. I'm shaking out all three rows. What I'll do is I'll do a slow mo so you can see it working. Not 
sure if you can see, but it's a lot deeper green under the trees over there where it's not got any sunlight. So that bit of the field will take the most making. Hopefully we'll be able to bail it Tuesday, if not Wednesday. It's starting to look a bit different now, the field. It was obviously like white with green lines. Now it's all green sea of grass. That's the good thing about farming is the fact that you can paint these huge pictures on the landscape with cool equipment. Just two rows I couldn't quite get, so going down the middle now. So that bit either side gets a double tedding. I ended up finishing at the wrong end of the field, so I'm just going to do the bit under the trees again, just to give it a bit more of a shake out. And it, every time you hit it with a tedder, it bruises the stems and lets the sap leach out and dry out. So it's no bad thing getting it done twice. All done now, PTO off, then Off. Pull that lever now. Hopefully. Oh no, it won't fall up until I pull that handle. So. This is impossible to do with one hand. <laughs> there you go, this is where you need a camera, man. Go, that metal block there, if you look, it's clicked back in. So if that was to fold out, it'd come against the block. So, nice and safe to go down the road. Nice thing about this tractor is you can start off in E. There's a uh, there running. It's saying it, it says the herd running. Andrew's just mowing this bit here by straw henge. We're just going to, it's quite long, so we're going to cut it down, bail it up, get rid of it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this off and then I'm going to sew it with combinable uh, maize. On some of the fields, we've got some like ryegrass problems. If we grow maize on it, we can basically mix up the chemistry and control it. We obviously don't have a forage harvester or a silage clamp. So what we've got to combine, so the idea is this, drill some up here, try it, combine it with our header. If it works, good. If it doesn't, look at trying to find a header or hiring a header to cut it with. But that way then we can use all the equipment we've got. We can cart it with grain trailers. We can dry it on the drying floors. And obviously if it works with our Convio header, we can harvest it as well ourselves. And it just means it's, an, it's another crop we can bring into the rotation with all the current equipment we've got. You could grow it for, for maize, but there's huge volumes and there's not any cows near us and you'd have to then cart it somewhere further away or put it in a clamp and then sell it through the winter, which wouldn't be a bad idea, but obviously there's the cost of building a clamp as well. So we'll do a couple of acres up here as a trial, see how easy it combines. Does anyone know anyone that's ever cut one with a convio header? Don't know, let us know if you do, and uh, we'll see what happens. When Richard was concreting these walls, he was cutting these girders that we were putting in the middle off a bent girder. Anyway, he's lost the tape measure, I've just seen it. Yeah, I was coming down the road and I thought, one of these fencing posts looks a bit different. And that is why. So he'd been, the girder was laid there, he's been chopping it up, so that's why the tape measure was left over here. Not sure I'll do a birthday bump today because not that many people. But Jeff Clark and Jake Carter, it's their 69th birthday, which is random, both born on the same day. So happy birthday to you. Let's just see how they're getting on with the chipper now. You can hear it running, it's a good sign. So James has took the hard head off, but he had trouble with it. So he's connected it to a forklift injection pump and squirted the diesel through it at a higher pressure than the cat engine does. And it seems to unblock it, so they're just gonna fire it up now. And uh, Get it to regen with the computer is the plan. Just raiding the merch so that I've got some uh, clean. What happens is I wear them for work and they get like 
oil stains on them and stuff so i'm getting some clean ones to take with us the isle of man i'm on for charlotte as well just take a picture of the label so he knows what i've had so i don't mess the stock up i can still hear the chipper running so that's a good sign anyway i'm going to jump in the shower get changed get to the airport and then let's go and see some motorbikes andrew's just dropping the edge car off look how cool this looks with it green tires Unfortunately, the wind's blowing this way, so it means we're gonna, not going to take off over our fields, but we'll land tomorrow probably over it. Not sure if you can see, but there you go. Is it a Lancaster, is it? Got the engines running on it now. There's the two Spitfires. I think it's the anniversary of the Battle of the Atlantic, so they're going to do a fly down the river, I think, in a bit. Backwards, isn't it? <laughs> this is smoke, isn't it? Spring barley there. Did I get burnt? What do you buy them? Everyone's filming by the sea. See ya. I feel a bit ripped off that it went backwards all the way. More in Manchester. There's a few bikes there, you'll see more tomorrow. Uh, Made this far, click like and um, tune in tomorrow for more TT action.